Ha ha ha. Hi, Smiley. Clear. Let's see her again. Traction to those shoulders. Let me get the phone down here. <laughs> Where'd she go? Find her again. So, Iris was saying that he was crabby most of the time during the session. Huh? He had one day where he was very crabby. She had him in the stander, or maybe you had him in the stander before you left. She had him in the stander. And I thought we would try to do a little food work in the stander, because I thought that might be kind of an interesting place for working on head control. He was not happy, but we worked through it. I don't remember him being crabby. I, okay. Iris was not feeling well some of the time. Oh, oh I had, see. She cool. had Mexican food revenge one day, where she didn't feel good at all. Montezuma's revenge, you mean? Yeah, I think. Yeah, Papa came and got him. Yes, she did not feel good that day. That was one day. Too much, too much. Too much. That she told him she took him to the zoo one day. Yeah, she said he had a great time at the zoo. Yeah, and she was impressed that he tolerated, you know, like going in and out of some of the buildings with a lot of visual and auditory changes. Yeah. He, uh, I found that he really likes going places. He likes to look at new things. When he, and what I'm wondering now is when he goes places, can you use a stroller at all with him? Oh, of course. Pretty much okay. And does he like being in the stroller? Yeah, he, you know, he can adjust. He doesn't. He doesn't flip out on it. He, he likes to see new things. I mean, yeah. I, I've been taken into several things that I have to do. I, if I have an errand that I can take him on, I take him with you. That's good because he needs to get out. Yeah, I, I try and get him out of this, this every chance I can. Now I've got his back. I'm giving him some support. To Hi. His head controls a little more modulated. Hello, 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 hello. Mm, stretching out. We're gonna get off this big bomb just a minute. There he is! There he is! Are you the little sumo wrestler? Sumo sumo? One thing that Gaylord and I have been talking about is he's almost two. Yep. And um, it takes and and you know we're gonna be starting to think about a transition into the school district. And I'm assuming that would be this one, Tuckwilla. School district. Unless Things change with your job and your head no. um, And the school districts really like kids to be, if they're not able to walk, they like them to be in, in um, a chair. And I think that Chance would be most, it would, he would probably be able to run a power chair. I don't see him being able to manage a manual chair. I'm going to go over on your tummy. Work on your head up, give mama some kisses. It takes a long time to sort out what camps would be able to run and get funding from the state to compensate for what insurance won't cover and all those things. But there's a lot to be thinking about in terms of mobility. But Chance, Chance wants to get around, I think, now. We think he's ready to kind of get out into this world. And that's why I'm excited if you take him out and you put him in the stroller. He gets that feeling of I can be moved and I can get around out of my parents' arms. And now we want to start looking at ways to control, to give him control of that. And that doesn't mean he won't crawl someday or he can, for bursts of therapy after that we can do that. Where's, look what mom's doing. You're cooked on that TV. I guess we'll turn it out. Roger says I so, um, for you guys, powered mobility, you know, you can't use a powered wheelchair in this house. Too small. You can't get, there are some chairs that break apart so that you can put them in the back of your Suburban. Mm -hmm. um, so that he could take it to the park or to the zoo and get around or to the mall and start getting around that way. But we need to, um, but usually at the, where they use their powered mobility the most is at school. So the chair very possibly could either stay on the bus and he gets he uses the chair to ride to and from the school. What are you looking at, Chance? You sure it's on the bus. But it oh, stays on like the, the bus fish? because there's you know, unless you Aww. want it for the weekend, there's not a chance. I mean mm -hmm. he's probably not gonna use it in here to figure out something else Aww. for the Caillou! Most Caillou. Kids don't handle power wheelchairs. Aww. They have to be pretty big. Aww. So 
it's something for you guys to be thinking that we're heading in that direction. And sometimes that's a really emotionally difficult thing to deal with, that your kid may need a power chair. But I, I like to look at it as a step to get him out into the world and get him some control. What you looking at? You're liking the TV these days. Yeah. He loves Teletubbies. The other thing I was going to mention too, you that we're getting is we're getting a pretty clear again word from him, where he's saying, "I get, I." Yeah, no, I keep trying to get him to say it. Yeah, but I think that's again. I that's got a high. Again. I got a high out of him. And high, and I'm getting more finger waving with his right hand, and um, yes, we're not going to be getting a no, except that he he makes this round thing with his lips that I think is meaning no. Um, but, but anyway, something for you guys to be thinking about the power, the, ch the wheelchair concept. And I can answer questions for you, or I can help you sort of go through that thought process. But we, we're ready to kind of call in the, big, the people who do powered mobility all the time. That's what they do. I don't do it all the time. My kids are usually too young to deal with that. Um, Chance is one of the oldest kids that I have. Honk. Um, okay, we're okay. gonna go right down. Honk. Ah! Don't put your face. Please don't. Are put you your face standing up, off. Chance? Okay. Is he yes, dude? Yes, thank you. Nice standing up. Hey, what are you doing? There we go. And up, 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 up. There you go. There's your television show. Hey. So, did you get the prescription for, did you get a date made for his? I got a date. I forgot to ask the doctor. I saw him yesterday. Um, I'll call over there. Yeah, call and just yeah, he'll, fax he'll, it. He will. He'll fax it. I just totally forgot. When is your date? Um, it's in November. Okay. The 13th or something. It's a Thursday. Well, I think Ruth can handle, hold him so that I don't need to come over and hold him because they're pretty good with positioning. Mm -hmm. Well, Keenan will be there. Yeah, usually they have a therapist hold him. First time I held him. Did you? I think at this age, then I have a therapist hold him, but we'll see. See how good you are. Make sure you got your back with him on board that day. Look at how nice you're standing up, Chance. You're totally distracted with this TV. Really? But another thing is if you're looking at, you know, and this should be on record, but if you're looking at the lawsuit, that, you know. Hi, Smiley. Look at me, Chance. Which ball do you want? You want this ball. I huh? want a okay. bright one. Okay. You ready? Here one, two, three. You got your animals, Sierra, huh? got lots of colors on it. Yeah. Open hands, Chance. Let's open those hands up. Should we, you want to get gloves? Nice. We've been doing more without gloves lately yeah. in therapy, and we decided that gloves should be used only when he's particularly tight. Uh -huh. But we had gloves on last week and, and the week before, and when we took the gloves on, off, he seemed more willing to open hands. I think they're good for controlling tone when he's particularly tight or you know he's going to be tight, like riding in the car and mm -hmm. stuff like that. But he really enjoys having So it's kind of a static. A it's a static. It is. Yeah. And it's not really meant to be. It's supposed to be dynamic. But for Chance, it's, it feels to me like... There it goes. Are you ready? Again? Do you want that again? Say, yeah. again. I heard sound. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, one, two, three, 